Assalamu alaikum and bismillahir rahmanir rahim dear students and uh, viewers uh, today we are going to discuss uh, the regulation of hematopoiesis and uh, before going toward the regulation of hematopoiesis are certain factors which are involved in the regulation of hematopoiesis uh, we have to recall the definition of hematopoiesis and uh, we all know that the process of the development of blood cell is known as hematopoiesis where the exact definition of hematopoiesis is, is uh, the proliferation the proliferation maturation and differentiation of different type of blood cell is known as hematopoiesis and there are certain different types of uh, process like the process of red blood cell wall is known as uh, erythropoiesis like wbc's leukopoiesis and for platelet development we call it thrombopoiesis then we have discussed about the medullary hematopoiesis that was uh, intramedullary hematopoiesis and extra medullary hematopoiesis so uh, with respect to blood cell formation the term medullary and extra medullary hematopoiesis are often used and uh, medullary hematopoiesis refer to blood cell production in the bone marrow and extra medullary hematopoiesis refers to the blood cells production outside of the bone man marrow so uh, different types of organs were involved uh, during these uh, hematopoiesis or this process uh, like uh, um, in the fetus form uh, yolk sac um, is responsible for making uh, the red blood cells white blood cells and uh, uh, platelets uh, that is called a primitive hematopoiesis and then it uh, moved toward the definitive hematopoiesis uh, that uh, liver spleen bone marrow and lymph nodes were involved in the whole process so the number of growth factors uh, which are known as colony stimulating factors uh, which is abbreviated as CSFS and other uh, are classified as interleukins like interleukin 2, interleukin 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and interleukin 9. An addition of uh, the these uh, interleukin and cytokines or colony stimulating factor, the proliferation of red blood cells and platelet is also influenced by other factor as well. Like uh, during the uh, during hypoxia, kidney uh, produced a factor uh, which is known as erythropoietin, and uh, that erythropoietin is also responsible for uh, the process of erythropoiesis or uh, um, thrombopoietin so thrombopoietin is responsible for the proliferation of uh, um, platelet development uh, the earliest acting growth factor which is known as uh, multi-colony stimulating factor or uh, we call it is interleukin 3 um, is also responsible for uh, many lines like uh, it uh, act on uh, pluripotent stem cells it act on myelid stem cells uh, granulocyte monocyte colony uh, progenitor cells uh, monocyte neutrophil eosinophil uh, mast cell megakaryocyte and erythroid progenitor cell so interleukin 3 Three is mostly responsible during the whole process of uh, hematopoiesis. Bone marrow cells, uh, however, are thought to produce a, a as yet undefined factor that uh, maintain the steady state level of the pluripotent stem cell. Uh, other growth factors that influence the development of early stages of hematopoiesis, hematopoiesis include um, uh, granulocyte, monocyte, colony stimulating factor, we call it GMCSF, and interleukin-6. So, the development of B and T lymphocyte progenitor cells are influenced by interleukin-7 and probably by other factor as well. So these were the uh, factors which are going to stimulate or we're going to influence uh, different types of uh, uh, hematopoiesis uh, like erythropoietin, thrombopoietin, granulocyte, monocyte, colony stimulating factor, granulocyte, colony stimulating factor, interleukin-3. Now more specific acting growth factor includes interleukin-4 which stimulates the development of basophil and mast cell. Interleukin-5 which activate eosinophil progenitor cells interleukin 9 which stimulate mast cells production granulocyte colony stimulating factor which stimulates neutrophil production 
monocyte colony stimulating factor which regulates monocytes and macrophages as well proliferation specifically and erythropoietin which stimulates erythrocytes and megakaryocyte production thrombopoietin which stimulates the production of thrombopoiesis so the regulation of blood cell production is not only a function of increase or decrease production of various growth factor but also is a function of presence of receptors on the progenitor cells for these stimulatory or inhibitory factors and uh, generally the more receptor present on the cell membrane of these progenitor cells the more likely they are to, to be stimulated so this is what about the whole process of uh, uh, regulation of hematopoiesis so there are certain factors which are responsible for the process of these um, hematopoiesis and uh, then we have discussed specifically like er erythropoietin is specifically responsible for uh, erythrocytes thrombopoietin is specifically responsible for uh, um, uh, thrombocytes uh, interleukin 5 is responsible for eosinophil progenitors and interleukin cell is for mast cells uh, uh, like uh, interleukin 4 is for basophil and uh, um, mast cells as well so after the uh, regulation of hematopoiesis uh, we have to know about the maturation and survival times of blood cells and platelets as well like erythrocytes uh, maturation time is three to five days in its survival time is 120 days granulocytes maturation time is five to six days and its survival time is nine to ten days a monocyte uh, have the maturation time five to six days and it survivals months to years lymphocyte has the maturation time it has variability it take different times and uh, the survival is months to years uh, platelet uh, maturation time is four to two uh, four to five uh, days and uh, the survival survival time is uh, up to 10 days thank you very much for listening the video the urdu version of this video is available on uh, basic hematology playlist so keep watching the videos thank you so much for listening allah hafiz